What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode in my Football Manager series, this is episode 67 and today we're returning with two absolutely massive games so early on in the campaign as they've gone by Leverkusen away at the Bayer Arena in the second game of the Champions League group stage and in a massive test we face Arsenal away at the Emirates Stadium as well. Before we play the games though, we should go and get off camera and also spoiler alert, it's been, uh, it's been tough, it's been very tough. And of course, in the last episode, you saw our 1 1 draw away against Spurs, then our 2 1 defeat at home to Paris Saint Germain in the Champions League group opener. I then played three games off camera, and as you can see, it's not got better for the Bluebirds. We have had a very tough start to season eight, and we began with a defeat away at Vicarage Road, our first Premier League loss of the season, as we were beaten by Watford by two goals to nil. Both goals coming from corners 12 minutes after the restart. It was like Cardiff City back in the first three or four seasons. No one taking charge from set pieces. I was looking at Kimpembe. I was looking at Kid Jao Carlos making his Premier League debut. Just static in the box as uh, Watford scored two goals from set pieces. So frustrating. And after the game, went over to the fans in the away end, trying to calm them down a little bit. Most of them were clapping us, applauding us. They still believe we can sort it out. But there were a few murmurs of discontent by the fans. You heard a few chants of fraud, fraud, fraud directed at me as uh, Watford got the win. But we, we've retained most of the fan support, but there were a few murmurs of discontent, no doubt about it. But uh, following that, a return to winning ways in our first of the month of September, a 1 0 win against Stoke in the Carabao Cup third round, where Luis Suarez, the 38 year old, scored the only goal of the game. 65 minutes in, a smacking one in from Rage. Did take a deflection, though. You'll see it best on the second replay from behind the goal. Did take a slight deflection, but he weighed the Uruguayans' first goal for the club as he belted one home from about 22 yards, giving us the win. But sadly, there was some bad news. Audrey Zola went down with a hip injury and he's going to be out for two months. Yet another injury for Cardiff City. Another hip injury. Uh, Audrey Zola going down. A big blow there. And uh, our third and final game off camera was a 1-0 defeat at home to Chelsea. So three defeats in our last four games. And you remember last season, didn't lose a single game at home in the Premier League all year long. We've already had our first defeat in eight at home this season. Uh, Van der Korputz, uh, a Valencia striker who last year won the Golden Boot in La Liga. He only had more. He was the only player that had more goals than Fernandez last year in La Liga. Scored 30 for Valencia. Chelsea snapped him up for 106 million pounds, and you'll see the goal. You can see why they signed him for 106 million pounds. He picked the ball up from inside his own half, and like Thierry Henry against Spurs all those years ago, went the whole way, just bamboozled our defence, and then dinked it over the goalkeeper to make it 1-0. So Chelsea got the win, and as you can see right now, after a very poor run of form, Cardiff City has slipped down to seventh place in the table. You've only picked up three wins from our first eight games already nine goals conceded it's been a very tough start for the Bluebirds already 12 points behind League Leagues United who by the way have continued their dominance eight wins from eight and not a single goal conceded they're on fire also was it Spurs when Omri scored that solo goal I can't remember now it was so long ago but um, anyway, uh, yeah, look at the dynamics as well before we into the first game of today's episode away against Bayer Leverkusen at the Bayer Arena. Uh, you can see right now the dressing room atmosphere. I did a team meeting directly after the loss to Chelsea. I know the boys wanted to shoot off in their Lamborghinis and their Ferraris and whatnot, but I said, lads, we've got to stay in the dressing room for a bit. I shut the door, the media couldn't come in. And I said, look, we've got to sort this out right now. Uh, so I said to the boys, you know, I'm really keen to ensure our heads don't drop and that uh, they all responded positively. They all responded positively and that's why the dressing room atmosphere so it has, uh, has increased a little bit after that impromptu team meeting after the game. But uh, anyway, it's still not been a good run. We've had a very tough start. But the only thing that's in our favour right now is that our first eight games in the Premier League, we've already faced Liverpool away, City at home, Spurs away and Chelsea at home as well. So four big teams in the first eight. And when you look at our run between now and New Year's Day, we've still got Arsenal to play away after the Bayern Leverkusen game today. And we've got United away, Old Trafford as well. Everton at home won't be easy. But other than that... You'd think Aston Villa at home, Burnley away, Wolves at home, QPR away, Norwich at home, Brighton away, Blackburn away, Huddersfield away on Boxing Day, and then Fulham at home on the 28th of December. All of those games are winnable. So we've had some tough games to, to, to start off with in this run, but after the Arsenal game, I think we should really start to kick on and get into good form. Touch wood that happens, otherwise we're in deep trouble. Anyway, first game today is indeed by Leverkusen away in Germany. Once again with a 6pm kickoff with PSG versus Range being the other tie uh, coming two hours later. And this is a must-not-lose game already, because if we lose this game, with all due respect to Range, you think PSG will win that game there in, uh, in Paris. We'll already have zero points, and both Bayer and 
PSG will both have six points each. Already, we'll be in deep trouble. So into the game right now on the injury report, you can see there are three players down. Sterling is still down after the injury we saw in the last episode. Jason came off the bench against Chelsea and then pulled his groin. Typical, when it rains, it pours. And again, confirmation order is over out for around two months. Won't see him again, I think, until December time at the very earliest, I'd say. So big injury there. So Stefano will have to carry the load. That only right back now in a team that can play. And uh, here we go. So 4 2 3 on for the game. I'll be switching between this system and our 4 2 2 2 Diamond Narrow Gigan press system. But this is our best system. And this is our team. Onana in goal. About for a gone. Cowers Kimpembe holding coming in for Jordi. We've not been impressed with this season. And uh, Stefano at right back with a midfield duo being Alenia and McKenny. Attack midfield trio. Sessi on the left. Raviota getting a start on the right hand side and inside forward. Now, a lot of you guys have been saying you've got to play Raviota this season. Now he's come back from loan and you haven't loaned him out. I agree. We've got to give the 20. 20 year old some minutes this season and uh, showed if the senior boys aren't stepping up, put your faith in the youngsters. So Rabiotta on the right hand side is an inside forward and the OG is the advanced playmaker and Maria is leading the line up top. Come on, Paleo. Big game for you tonight, leading the team out. On the bench, Henderson, uh, Jao Carlos, Davis, Ramsey, Warprouse, Woodburn, and Pedro Antonio as well. So, first game, it's a must not lose one already. By Leverkusen away. Come on, you bluebirds. So I think I've got to have a good team talk here. And I'm going to say to the boys in the dressing room, I think calmly, keep it calm. I'm going to say, keep it calm. I don't even know what to say, right? Uh, I don't even like any of these options here. Um, I'm going to say, I'm expecting you to win tonight. I'm expecting you to... Oh, who's confused? Go on, Calvez. Jesus, isn't this guy's all going wrong. It's all going wrong. We had the honeymoon period for the past couple of years. It's all going wrong now. But geez, we, we can't afford to lose tonight. I think again, I think if we lose tonight, I think already we're probably going out. Even with four games to go, we're probably going out. First highlight coming to the Bluebirds with Stefano on the ball, finding Kim Pembe as well. Play out from inside our own half as Helder sends it long and Maria nods it down to the OG. Who's going to step up tonight and be the guy that gets us the goals? Gonzalez finds a pocket of space. Oh! Blaze just over the bar. Big game for the OG tonight, I think, as well. 155 grand a week. Hasn't done much to start the campaign off. I'm looking for him to make a difference tonight as Raviotta picks up an early booking. But this is a good start from Cardiff, though. Weston McKenney on the ball to the OG. And a number 10 has to find it with him. And he finds the right back inside the area. Cross deflected, though. And Bayer get it back. Gonzalez. Oh, and again. OG going for goal from just outside the area. Can't keep the shots down, though. As it's still 0-0, getting underneath them a bit too much. But still goal. It's a good start, though. I'm going to encourage the boys from the side as they've started off well. Keep it going, lads. You're doing okay. Holding. Poor header. Straight to us. He had time to bring that down there. He had lots more time. And no, no, no. Mark up. Mark up. Someone at the far post. Someone at the far post. Justin Kluivert all alone. Where was Stefano? Kimpembe got dragged across. And by Leverkusen going in front. And after a great little spell of pressure, we've gone behind early. But there is a VAR. Is it going to be chalked off? I highly doubt it. He looked onside to me. And yeah, it's fine. Where is Stefano? That's what I want to know. Holding comes across. Kimpembe. What? Why is he coming across there? If Holding goes the whole way, you cover your man. Justin Cliver all alone at the far post. Makes it 1-0. 70 minutes remaining. So there's a long way to go. But as things stand, we're going out. I said there are a few murmurs of discontent after the Watford defeat. There's going to be some fucking bottles thrown at us come the end of this game at this rate. Five minutes to go. And as things stand, I mean, yeah, we're going out already. Two games in, I'm going to say it. We're already going out if we lose tonight here in Germany. Rob Holding as well. Bring it down, mate. You had so much more time there. Anyway, Alenia on the ball, coming forward. Finds your eye in Back to our number eight. And Carlos finds McKenny. We, we just can't break them down at the moment. We're restricted to a long-range shot. Once again, Gonzalez goes for goal from outside the area. We've got to work the boys to the box on, right? Yeah, we do. So why are they shooting from sight? They're just they're, they're disobeying me now. They're not interested. They want me gone, these players. There's a mutiny on our hands. Right, I'm getting aggressive. I'm getting very aggressive at half time. I expect to see a much better showing from you in the second half. And I'm going to take off Gon Cowles as well, who's on a 6.4. And what I'm going to do is play Cessna on the left wing back, play Raviot in his more preferred position on the left hand side. And uh, we'll change that to a supporting winger. And I'll bring on James Ward Prowse for a bit of quality down that right for good balls into the box. That's what we need right now. Someone to open up the defence and uh, put the balls in. So second half to begin. I've got I've got aggressive in the pre uh, the half time team talk. Chucked a through a few walls. Water bottles around. Second half to begin. We've got to turn this round, otherwise we're already out. Alenia picks up the loose ball. 35 yards from goal and finds Rabiotta. They'll play a 1-2. 
As Carl finds Weston Stefan, if we can find him there, he's down the right. But instead, it comes to Ward Prowse. Back to Gonzalez. And there's Stefano. Look at the space of Stefano there to cross. In it goes. Raviotta. Oh, Piero. Raviotta. We sent him to the San Siro and he's returned as a man. Raviotta heads home for his first of the year. You were saying, give him some game time. And that's what he can do when he's in the team. He went to Italy last year, spent six months with Inter Milan, had a brilliant half a year with Inter. He scored four. Four goals and got four assists in 15 games. I think he was... Oh, he's, he's tapping his head as well. He knows he can score with his, uh, with his, uh, his head. And it's 1-1. It's one, one, but Bayer Leverkusen have a corner. And that shot goes just over. Still 1-1. One, one. Can we turn this game on its head? Stefano. Great tackle on Cliver. And now Maria back to Ward Prowse. And as he'll play it back to Stefano... Our uh, right back plays it infield to Alenia. And now JWP off the bench. Slides Maria through. <laughs> to finish it captain if you want to be club captain you've got to take responsibility like Jason does in the big games Jason doesn't let you down to big games but Maria just continuously does 6.4 one minute of normal time to play and as McKenney goes in there he's going to be sent off for a second yellow card we haven't got a backup ball and fielder on the bench because McTominay's not in the squad tonight so McKenney off and now for the final five minutes five minutes of stoppage time where's that come from fourth official we're going to be without an extra man well without the, uh, the, right, the right amount of men and what we'll do is play a box to box there alongside Aaron Ramsey for Gonzalez and I think actually I might play War Prowse through the middle instead and the OG out wide yeah let's do that and go 4-4-1 four, four, for the final five minutes. So I'm going to take off Maria as well. He played poorly out there tonight. and bring on Pedro Antonio to kid for the final few. But by Leverkusen now. We'll be sensing a late game winner. Here in Germany. As Kluivert has his ball cut out by Sessegnon. And Raviotta slipped on the turf there. As Rodolfo's got space down the right. In goes the cross. Oh, I don't believe it. And by Leverkusen have won it. The boos ring round in the corner at the Bay Arena from the Cardiff fans because it's going to be another defeat for Cardiff City. Four in our last five. Rodolfo's cross headed away by holding, but the first time half volley, and what a strike to be fair. Right into the top corner, and Leverkusen have won it. I don't believe it. We actually played well out there tonight. I mean, we did okay. Like, we, we did all right. It's just that we didn't take our chances. And Paleo Maria, he's dropped for the Arsenal game. There is no excuse. I know he's our top scorer, but every single big game he plays, you know, he just continuously lets you down. Sessegnon crosses, headed clear, and that should do it. Four defeats in five for Cardiff City. No points from a possible six in the Champions League. And I will say to the boys, I can't fault any of you for your performances. It's just one of those days. To be fair, we actually played okay out there, particularly in the second half. Raviotta did well to get us back in the game and back on level terms. But, I mean, it doesn't matter. It counts for nothing. It counts for nothing, that effort. McKenny out for the third game against Rangers, well, the suspension too. And PSG, they'll, they'll surely beat Rangers in, in, in that second game as well. So by Leverkusen and Rangers, well, sorry, and PSG will have six points each and will have zero with four games to go. Already, we're probably out of the group. Yeah, there you go. See the result there on the left-hand side. PSG four, Rangers nil. So four games remaining in the group. And already, we feel as though we're probably going out. I mean, I did say when the groups were drawn, we'll probably finish third, but this is a pretty embarrassing showing, even with a tough group here. We reached a final of the Champions League two years ago. This year, we're not even going to make out of the group. That's embarrassing, that. And, and Larson thinks Cardiff may suffer further. Morale in the dressing room is very low right now. It's going to be difficult to pick them up after that. Oh, that doesn't help, Henrik. That doesn't help, Henrik. Henrik, you coming for my job or something, mate? Inside job? That doesn't help me. Oh, now Ben Woodburn's not happy. Ben Woodburn's not happy. Oh, God. It's all, it's all going wrong. It's all going wrong. The managerial support is dropping. I'm, I'm going to be gone come the end of the season. I'm going to be gone. You know what? I'll say the fans had murmurs of discontent, and now they're, they're calling for my head. Four defeats in five. They're calling for my head. They're, they're all sitting there thinking, do you know what? He's taken us as far as he can. He's taken us as far as he can take us, JC. I want him gone. That's what the fans are saying. I want him gone. I want Thomas Tuchel. I want Carlo Ancelotti. 
I want Henrik Larsson to take over. They don't want me anymore. The fans, they're giving up on me. And this doesn't help either. Takeover rumours. We had this in the summer with a takeover that fell through. This just creates more drama. It makes my job even tougher. And when it rains, it pours. Seriously. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I've built a squad that I like. I've built a team that I like. The injuries have not helped us. And I think there are a few bad eggs in this squad. I really do. I think there are a few players here that just, they, they don't care anymore. Cam Rassa, for example, Cam Rassa can leave. Cam Rassa is going to leave on a free chance come the end of the season. I'm going to sell him in January. You know, all the services he's put in for the club. You know, he's been a regular member of our team. I'm going to sell him in January. He doesn't want to play here. Fine, let him go. If you want to play for the club, fine, piss off. I think he's got to go. Um, I'm, I'm not totally convinced Maria actually loves this club as, as much as I think he should, considering... I think, I think possibly Maria could be gone in the summer as well. That's that's going to be a big one. I wouldn't be against selling. I think Holding is going to go as well. I, th I think in the summer, if I'm still here, which hopefully touch what I will be, we need a clear out. We, we need to sell a few of these players that are bad eggs here. He thinks he's too big for the club now, Maria. That's what it is. He thinks he's too big for the club. I, th I think that's how he feels now. Now he's got those caps for Spain. Now he's finally been recognised on the international stage. I think now he thinks he's too big for this club. I, 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 I reckon he's, he, he's thinking that he, I'm, I'm, too, I'm too big to play for Cardiff City. You know, he, he can do it against the small teams, but against the big teams, his goal-to-game ratio is horrible. If he wants to leave in the summer and a big comes in, if we can get around 100 million for Maria in the summer, I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. I'm not going to say I regret not selling him to Spurs, because again, last year, Golden Boot winner, helped us win the FA Cup. Don't forget, obviously, he had the, uh, the best goal-scoring season of his career last year as well, but... I, I, I think if we can get £100 million for him in the summer, we take him. We let him go. I don't, I don't think he wants to play for this club anymore. Manchester United, by the way. How are they doing this? This is like FM17, Manchester United. 3-0 against the Champions Liverpool. Nine wins from nine. 24 goals scored. Not a single goal conceded. Chelsea are the only threat to them right now. Eight wins from nine. And a draw as well. It's going to be a fascinating two-horse title race this year. No one else is going to catch them. But that is incredible. No goals conceded in their first nine. Onana won the Golden Glove last year at 21. That is going to get 38. All right, so second and final game of today's episode. And as things stand, we've got Arsenal at the Emirates. And there's a very good chance we're going to have five defeats in our last six games. This is a big one here. This is a big game. We, we've got to get something today away in London. And heading into the game, uh, we're going to play a 4-2-2-2 Gigan press system because the 4-2-3-1 clearly isn't working too well there this season. And uh, let's go to our Gigan press system. It might be time to create a new tactical system for Cardiff, which is terrifying for me. As a tactical fraud I am, that is terrifying. I mean, three things that I'm definitely afraid of. Clowns, obviously. Uh, commitment, according to my ex. And making new tactics on Football Manager, because I've got no idea what I'm doing. This is just guesswork. So let's get to the game. 4-4-2, Diamond, Narrow, Gigan Press, and this will be our line. Henderson coming back in goal for the game. I mean, Onana didn't play badly in Germany, but Henderson, going to give him a run in the first team, I think. Henderson in goal. About for Ogon, Cowboys, Kimpembe, Jordi, and Stefano. In the midfield quad, Camarasa, Warprowse, McKennie, and Alenia. Gonzalez on the bench, because he only had one assist in seven Premier League games, not a single goal this year. He's been really poor. And up top, Woodburn. Burn and Pedro Antonio leading our line, which means Cam Rasa takes the armband. And on the bench, Onana holding Sessignon, Ramsey, Raviota Gonzalez, and Luis Suarez. Maria, not even in the match day squad. Not due to fitness. No, he's getting dropped. He's getting dropped. So this is our team, second final game, Arsenal away. This will probably be five defeats in six. Oh, God. So I'm going to say to the boys here, calmly, keep it calm. We've got nothing to lose here. We know how good we are. Let's show everyone else what we're capable of, shall we? Fuck's sake. This is definitely one of the toughest periods of the save so far, if not the toughest period, because there's more, there's more expectation on us now, do you know what I mean? A few years ago, when we weren't really a winning side, and we were just trying to break into European places, it was okay if we had patches of form like this, but now we expect more, because we've got four, eight, four or five players on 100 plus grand a week. Maria and Gonzalez are both 155 grand a week each, you know. I mean, we, you just expect more from these players. We, we've won the FA Cup last year. We're back-to-back -back Carabao Cup winners in Season 5 and Season 6. We were Champions League finalists in our first European year. There's more pressure now, and we're collapsing under it. 
Will Prowse sends it long, and Pedro Antonio has his shot deflected. He took too long to fire the trigger there, pull the trigger. He had a great chance there as well. That was a better chance than I gave it credit for. I was very casual in the commentaries. Jordi has a free header, and it's saved by the goalkeeper, and Arsenal should clear with Eduard. So a couple of good chances there as we're mid midway through the first half, and, and now Stefano suffered a tight groin as well. If we lose Stefano, we're in deep trouble, because Odriozola's still out as well. Goncalves picks up a booking, and... Oh, it's gone. Calvis has gone down. I thought it was going to be Stefano. Gone. Calvis goes down. We'll have to bring Session on to play left wing back for us. Now, another injury. A potential lower leg injury. This kind of team just can't get ourselves fit. You know, to be fair, we've had a tough start to the season. We've had a tough group. And we've had injuries as well. But the footballing world is not that forgiving. No, I'm going to say to the boys at the break here, you've been unlucky so far. Because we've actually done okay out there. We've had one good chance through Pedro and... Oh, so we had one good chance through Pedro Antonio. We just didn't take it. And then Jordi had a free header there. And at six foot six, he should be doing better. That's the one frustrating thing about Jordi. As, as much of a giant as he is, his heading stat, I think, is only 12. Which means that it'd be more of an aerial threat if he could get his headers goal bound and didn't have a 50p head. Anyway, first tie of the second half coming to Arsenal. As Jaden Sancho has spaced across from the right hand side. Jordy does, oh, well, right on cue, heads it straight to an Arsenal player, and Eric Bailly fires it off target. Still 0 0. Definitely a goal in this game. Can't see it finish goalless. Well, we've not got a backup right back now, and Stefano's getting tired out there. So, what I'm going to do is play Ward Prowse as our right wing back, because he can, he can sort of play there, but not entirely. Uh, I'm going to bring on, I'm going to bring on Ramsey. I've got Gonzalez there. I'm going to bring on Ramsey instead. Uh, to play against his uh, one of his former teams in the Gunners. 18 minutes to go. Is it, is it going to finish 0-0? I highly doubt it. I'm sure there'll be a goal. Because, again, we've only, we've only kept one clean sheet all through the season in the Premier League so far. Surely there'll be a goal at some point as Jordi sends it long. And Pedro Antonio lose out in the air. We'll drop to McKenney, who gets it on the deck. And now Alenia out wide to Sessegnon as Arsenal win it back. And here comes Chiesa in behind Sessegnon. The ball is good. Simeone's through. Oh, Dean Henderson. What a save. Well, Prowse sends it along. And Pedro Antonio down the line, down this right-hand side, has a little bit of room to cross. And it's dropped all the way to Sessegnon. Ryan! Sessegnon puts Cardiff in front and with 15 minutes to go we lead at the Emirates Pedro Antonio getting the nod tonight, the 19 year old whips one to the back stick, he goes all the way to Sessegnon, nice first touch and a finish, drills it into bottom corner, four Premier League goals already for a player that only scored three in his past two years what a finish now the question is, can we hang on? We have been so poor defensively to start the season off. Now can we show the spirit we showed last year? Ryan Woodburn off the crossbar and Bayerian clears. That would have done it. But there is a throw. What an incredible comeback victory this will be after a poor run of four. If we can hold on to it. Sessions had a ball in performance in the second half with Alenia to McKenney. And Weston to Pedro Antonio. Back to Cam Rassi. Give it Sessegnon. Give it Ryan. Woodburn. Oh, just wide. Gonzalez on for Carl Zalenia for the stoppage time. But I think that should do it. Yes! What a huge, massive win for Cardiff City. We had not beaten, Emirates, uh, not beaten Arsenal at the Emirates in the entire save until now. And isn't that just typical? That just shows you how crazy football is, man. We've been in a horrendous run of form, and we end it by getting our first win at the Emirates in the entire stage. So passionately, I'll say to the boys, that was really special, lads. Nobody gave us a chance for you to play with instantly. Congratulations. See, you, you can play well when you want to. You can play well when you want to. Massive victory, that. And my goodness, we so sorely needed it after a horrendous run of four. And it sees us leapfrog the Gunners, going to sixth place. Only four wins from our first nine. Not great, but a big win there. And our Goncalves out to three to five weeks as well. We have just got so many injury problems this year. But a massive, massive win. And a big pressure relieving one. And just our second clean sheet picked up in the season in the Premier League as well. But that will be today's episode of the Football Manager Series, guys. So a big thank you for watching. Hope you have enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy today's episode, please drop a like. As like, so of course, very much appreciated. And you really helped channel out as well. Most of you all have a fantastic day. And I think we've got a return with the PSG game, right? The penultimate game in the Champions League group stage. And then Wolves at home or QPR away at Loftus Road. 
Not sure. One of the two, or perhaps what we could do, what we could do in the next episode, because these games here, Wolves at home, QPR away, Norwich at home, Brighton away, they're not the most dramatic. What we could do is play those games sort of, you know, off camera and just show you the highlights. We can just do the PSG away and buy Leverkusen games at home as well in the fifth and sixth games of the Champions League group stage. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So thanks for watching, guys. Have an awesome day. Much love to you all. And I'll see you for the final two games of the Champions League group stage where hopefully we've risen from the dead and still have a chance of qualifying very soon. Bye now.